Hi, whether you have a brand new website or you have an established site that just never generated much traffic, you obviously want to get traffic to your website and you need to do things that will create traction. So we'll create, we'll cause that to happen, invite that to happen. So there are a few things that you can do um, in order to start to generate a little bit of traffic to your uh, website and then multiply that after that and in this short video we're going to go over um, a few of those things that I do for every one of my new blog posts um, especially for the more authoritative ones that I really want to you know dominate a market in so the first thing I do is make sure my site is legitimate and we just did a video recently on that exact topic and if you want to go to our YouTube channel you'll find it the title is the five key elements to a legitimate website so um, you might want to watch that make sure your site implements those things and as you can see for the most part this site does implement all of those um, this is one of our just one of our test sites we've recently created called camp.com that's the brand and this the actual domain is camp.com.com so as you can see we have a nice little logo a custom header graphic we have legitimacy pages images um, you know it's full of good content we have social media integration, we have Facebook comments, we have a Facebook page created, etc., etc. Social sharing um, set up. So this is good to go and it is legitimate. So when a person lands on this site, for the most part, it's going to be trusted. It's going to look legitimate to most people. So that's step one. Make sure that's done. And again, you can watch that video to make sure that you have those uh, five key elements integrated. Once you have that, every time you publish a new blog post or produce content, whatever your quality content is, you need to be producing some kind of quality content, whether it's videos or blog posts or whatever it is, and you need to share it. So there are all kinds of sites out there where you can share your content. I'm just going to get into a few of the top ones that I've actually seen direct traffic come from, not just you know getting a link from a high quality site, which is also good, but actually getting direct traffic. So we're going to get into that here. So uh, this blog post, not brand new, but let's just say we just published this blog post right here. We're going to grab the URL and we're going to go to Facebook. So again, you should have a Facebook page for your site, not just your personal Facebook or your business Facebook page, but a Facebook page specifically for the site that you're promoting that you just published this new content on. Um, you know, get your quality logo uploaded, uploaded as your um, Facebook picture get your brand as the Facebook name um, as your your brand you want to have a brand brand your site and then get your blog posts published here you want to get it started obviously you're not going to have anyone who's even going to see your Facebook posts until you start to develop that following but that will come with time um, just start off by posting them get you know get some stuff on your wall get some quality updates not just posts um, from your website but in between those mix in some some good quality you know tips and whatever it is you know in your niche and just some good quality updates on your Facebook page alright so once you've done that every time you publish a new blog post you can boost it now this isn't required if you don't have a budget for this that's fine but if you have any kind of budget at all you can these boosts can really go a long way you can boost uh, each new blog post just for five dollars and if you're doing an authoritative legitimate website where you really want it to dominate a niche you're going to be creating high quality you know really good content and you normally can't create most people I know I can't create high quality content of that nature every single day so you know you might publish one new high quality blog post that you want to go viral that's really good that people in your niche is really gonna um, embrace and consume and you might do that once a week so if you do that and you pay five dollars per boost that's only twenty dollars a month that's not much at all you know to promote a website and it really does help you can really get depending on your you know the title of your post and your niche and you know depending on several factors uh, but it is a very very possible for a five dollar boost to result in a good bit of traffic and in a few minutes we'll get into um, a couple things you can do to multiply that traffic and to cause it to be recurring but that's the first thing get it posted on your Facebook page and also while boosting this it also over time will get people to like your Facebook page as well so the more people who like your Facebook page the more people you have to announce other future uh, blog posts um, and another thing that isn't a bad idea if you do have a budget is to pay for um, 
likes for your page so you'll have that audience as well to post new uh, blog posts to to announce it to again that's not something required but if you do have a budget that's not a bad idea at all it's a very good idea um, the second thing you can do and this is also on Facebook is find groups so you can just type in this is in the camping niche so just type in camping and then see more results and I'm not going to go through here but you can just start clicking on these and some of them won't allow you to post on their wall some of them uh, will some of them won't you just start clicking on them um, and just right here write something on the wall you can paste it here and they may or may not allow me to do this um, some niches are more strict than others and uh, yeah as you can see here they won't let me um, but in some niches almost all of them will let you so it really just all depends on the niche but give it a shot a lot of them will allow you to and it won't show up you know on their feed on their wall like they posted it it will show up um, on the side kind of hidden away a little bit but it does result in traffic it does get people on the page in many cases Cases. I've seen it many many times it is worth doing and it just only takes a couple seconds you know if you spend you can do everything I'm talking about in this video including what I'm about to get into in about 10 minutes or less um, so you just spend 10 15 minutes um, on every new piece of content that you create and it can really uh, result in a lot of traffic over time so and this is part of that so just you know search through those uh, camping pages and, and see how many of them will allow you to post it. Like I said, some of them uh, will allow you to post your link. Okay, so that's it for Facebook and just do, doing all of those things um, can really make a big difference. The second is sharing to a few of the big social networking sites, social, social bookmarking sites. The first one is Newsvine and that's N-E-W-S v-i-n-e right there newsvine.com this can really be a good traffic generator I've gotten a lot of traffic from newsvine a whole lot of traffic um, and again this depends some niches it's better than other niches but it is definitely worth a shot uh, and some niches it'll really just drive a lot of traffic just posting every new blog post that you have here and this is an established audience these are people who are here it doesn't matter how old your website is you can get traffic to your site doing this so create a a profile here profile here excuse me get a good uh, profile image up join some nations so you can click on nations here um, this is a brand new account I just created um, so I'm not a member of any nations but the more relevant nations that you can join the better so the nations are basically just kind of isolated groups on newsvine of people in specific interests so camping may not be the best option here but again it just depends on your niche just type it in there and see what comes up and if there are any nations that are within your niche I highly recommend you join them or apply some of them are open some of them are not um, and it's basically just like a group of people so you apply or you you can be automatically accepted depending on what it is and then once you're accepted um, every time you publish a new article you can select for it to go to all of Newsvine plus these specific nations. So as you can see right here, um, there's no nations. Um, if I were approved in any of the nations, they would show up down here and I could select those. So then every one of my new blog posts would go out to these nations as well as all of Newsvine. So that can really, really generate a lot of traffic. It really can. On Newsvine, make sure that you have um, quite a few um, likes on there before you apply to any of the nations. Um, if you don't have any on there, some of them that require that you apply and require approval may not approve you if you have a brand new profile with no likes, no shares, nothing. Uh, so make sure that you're somewhat established before you apply to those nations. Um, so Newsvine is one I published to. Stumble Upon is another one. So every time I publish a new blog post, I take the URL, go to Stumble Upon, and post it there. Stumble Upon. Um, again, you know, just create an account on StumbleUpon and you can submit your URLs. It's pretty straightforward. I won't get into that. Um, but submit all of your new blog posts to StumbleUpon. It can. And, and again, it depends on the niche. Certain niches do better on certain websites. Um, 
So it may or may not do awesome. It may or it may you know just not do anything for you. Depending, it really depends on what it is, um, the niche that you're in, and what your post is about, etc. But it's worth sharing. It takes a couple seconds to log in and share your link on StumbleUpon. Another one is Reddit, R-E-D-D-I-T.com. Um, this can result in a lot of traffic. Again, it depends on your niche, but it's worth submitting there. Reddit can really drive traffic to a site. Um, again, depending on the niche. And then the last thing is get a opt-in form uh, integrated into your site. We don't have it integrated on camp.com yet. We will be here really soon. We're going to be giving away a, a ebook that we had created at handsoffebooks.com. We're going to be giving away a short report here for opt-in. So we'll have that integrated here. We'll probably have a pop-up come up after you open the, the page and offer that free ebook um, that is highly targeted to the niche okay so make sure that the mo more targeted it is to what the average visitor to your website is looking for the better and the higher opt-in rate so that really will end up multiplying your traffic when you start building that email list so give away something of value an ebook or a short report is a really good um, option but it could be anything of value just give something away for opt-in require their name and email or just their email to build that email list so now all of this traffic you know it, it, in many cases it's a small number of visitors that you'll get for each new blog post when it's a fresh brand new blog but when you have this uh, pop-up um, and or uh, asking giving away a free ebook on the side in the sidebar for opt-in you're generating a list so you're taking a percentage of these visitors and creating recurring visitors so every single time you publish a new blog post you're going to get a few more people on that email list who you're going to be able to announce your future blog posts to so as you can see that will over time cause your traffic to multiply so I highly 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 recommend you do that um, we'll be integrating that into this website and several of our other example websites as well um, and it really does work I've done it so many times over the years it really does work and generating those recurring visitors that's where the, what the key is so you can do this over and over and until you get some kind of steady traffic from you know rankings in Google or something else um, it's you're just gonna have to keep on working and working and working to get new traffic new traffic new traffic um, while you can be doing those things to get those you know few few visitors every new blog post and turn them into recurring visitors so that's the key right there recurring visitors get that sidebar start giving away a free report um, or a free you know whatever it is to get them on your email list so that's it I hope it helps obviously there are all kinds of other things you can do but those techniques there those websites that I submit to um, and the things that I do there really have helped get a lot of different websites off the ground that I've started over the years and I hope that helps thanks